So we were understanding what is knowledge, what is dispassion, and what is delusion, what is emotional freedom, and what is the difference between individual, uh, we see individual and the supreme consciousness. Individual and supreme consciousness and how to remove the suffering from our life. So we have reached, we have understood a bit about individual. Uh, do you remember, I believe so, that you remember what is this? Uh, what is this? What is this individual? And we understood, we understood that individual, when the consciousness is affected by, when the consciousness is affected by, when the consciousness is affected by uh, the cause and effect, then we have, uh, then we have then one becomes an individual so we will go a little deeper last time we understood that this is what about the individual is and that individual is nothing but that ego there it does not exist it exists in thought that is what we understood so, last time I think we discussed that we will understand uh, through the acronym. So, remember E, C, B, N, F. E means existence, C means consciousness, B means bliss or permanent happiness, and uh, name in the form, N, F, name in the form. That is our, uh, you can say, formula. So our master says that this existence, consciousness and bliss is the real self, pure consciousness. And what is superimposed on it, it is the name and the form. One real self, one real self everywhere. So the name and the form, name, and the shape becomes Brandy, name in the form becomes David, name in the form becomes Stephen, name in the form becomes anything you name it in the world. Uh, it's your house, my house. My pen, my your pen. Uh, your cloth, my cloth. Your car, my car. Look at this, name in the form. It is superimposed. Superimposed. So there is an existence. Now understand a little bit, little deeper, that there is an existence. It extends to consciousness and the consciousness extends to bliss. It is known as existence, consciousness, bliss. It is only one. It is only one real self. It is only one real self. It is not two, it is not many. And what is superimposed is the name and the form. Last time we have understood that the consciousness conditioned by the cause and effect is individual consciousness. How you know I have a lot of stress, you see? cause and effect relationship. So who is that I who has a stress? Who is that I? This is what we say the consciousness uh, conditioned by uh, the cause and effect is an individual or simply an individual. Consciousness conditioned by ignorance is individual. So the moment it is 
we are conditioned by the cause and effect or ignorance, then what happens? Uh, there is a doer and the enjoyer is known inside. Doer and the enjoyer is created. <clears throat> I am a speaker. From where I am a speaker? I am not the body. I am not the larynx. I am not uh, the throat. I am not the lips. How can I claim that I am a speaker? How can you claim that you are a listener? So it is the name and the form is superimposed and that makes me an individual. That individual does not exist. It is only a superimposition. Superimposition. So I believe you remember the last one. The possessor of a thought is an individual. How can you prove that you are a Stephen? Without a thought, thought contains the knowledge, thought contains an object. What is that object? There is a name and there is a form. How can you prove? The possessor of a thought is an individual. What does it mean? So, Am I a thought? No, I'm not a thought. I'm not a thought. So what is this? This is what our masters say. It is a delusion. There, huh? we have reached to that beliefs. Go a little deeper. Individual knows on the surface, but does not know the essence. Any individual. No, I'm rich, I'm poor, and I'm stressed, I'm not stressed, and I'm in anxiety, and I have a habit of going into the anxiety. Very good habit. Keep that habit. Because that is also a thought. You see that? So when we recognize that this is only a thought, then it will go away. <clears throat> so these thoughts create a situation. Now I don't have money, so I have to earn money. Why? Not to meet the physical needs, but to be happy. So okay. So I am changing the situation. I have not, so I have it. Can that bring the happiness? No. So what will happen? I will change the situation again. I marry and divorce, so I will change the situation again. Whatever is happening, it is happening in the form of a thought process, in the name and the form. You change the situation as long as the mind is changing the situation. Two things. We can never be happy. Now, how long you care we are going to change the situation? Look at the Bill Gates. I gave a simple example of Bill Gates. We want to change the situation outside because I am searching happiness there. There is another point that is very important. That is important. If my mind continuously seeking to change the situation outside, I am not a seeker finished. No, but I'm listening to you. What it means then? Mind is still looking for changing the situation. So we don't say it. We all have a right to listen and understand this journey of self-discovery. But what about me? Am I a seeker in sight? If I'm a seeker, I will pick up and I will focus on this journey. So what we are understanding that what is the real self? Consciousness conditioned by ignorance is an individual. Another language I use, an individual, a possessor of a thought. Who are you? Yes. So you, we always answer in the form, name in the form. So you see that? ECB and F. ECB existence, consciousness, bliss. We are really Existence, consciousness and bliss and superimposition is name and the form. Are we, are we getting it? Huh? Are we getting it? Yes, yes, we are getting it. So even if you're not getting it, you know, you have to listen to it again. You see the name and the form. An individual who does not know 
what is deep inside him or the her that is pure consciousness that is the real self is the problem and it causes the delusion but i want to change the situation outside so it means the mind is looking to change the situation outside with a different name in the form you see that huh i have little money i want more money so that is what the situation is so that situation is nothing but the name in the form compare this now name in the form no i had a crush on you so now i love you after a few days that love disappears i like pasta after a week i don't like pasta so mind is constantly looking to change the situation outside with the name in the form and I fall back into delusion and that delusion is causing the emotional dependence, attachment and detachment, sorrow and the suffering. I hate that guy. But you loved that guy last week. Now that's a, it was different. Name in the form. You just, just look at it. Name in the form. There is nothing. Now I liked your lessons but now I hate you so I'm leaving your lesson. Thank you very much. But you are not a seeker. Because you want to change the situation. You are not looking inside. I tell you frankly, you'll be surprised that the same mind is the same. So sometimes the mind says that, oh, you have, you are talk, going to talk on this subject. And uh, no, 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 this is not a good subject. You choose the other topic. This is what the mind says. Clear? Now, what is the principle? When I present the principle and explain the principle as it is, people receive it with a hundred percent attention, even when the mind is causing the problem. Why I said so? Why I said so? This mind superimposes our own attitude, behavior, reaction, emotional dependence on the people on the situation outside and we fall back into delusion and then we suffer. ECB, that is our real self, name in the form, creates an individual, creates an ego and that causes lot of challenges in our day-to-day -day life. So what has happened? The master goes on explaining that when I accept the name and the form, when I accept that I am an individual with a particular name, form, age, gender, profession, what happened? Then I accept non-essential as essential. Don't you know that I am your husband? Now see that. I'm your wife after all. I'm your teacher. Long list. Long list. Long list. I'm your son. How dare you? So what is what is this? This is an individual. This means I accept non-essential as essential. And what is non-essential? Name in the form. So what is happening to the non-essential? It is constantly changing. Today you said, how dare you? Tomorrow you say, I'm sorry. So we change. So what is happening now? Now what is happening? Uh, my life is constantly running depends on non-essential, that non-essential is constantly changing. So that individual finds itself among the objects of the world and it fall back if the situation will change, I will be happy. If the situation changes, no person has ever become happy. You change any situation.
all things of name and the form are in appearance. Let us go a little deeper. That will blow our mind. All things of the name and the form, name and the form. Now you understand the NF is superimposition on the real self. How come? Uh, waves is a superimposition on the water. All of our different homes are superimposition on the space. Did you get it? Say yes, you know, even if you, <laughs> you don't say it, <laughs> listen to it again. It's simple. It's, it's a factual. Waves is a superimposition on the water. Huh? All of our homes and different shapes and sizes is superimposition on the space. Huh? You see that? Now when there is a superimposition, so with that superimposition you are relating to others? No, 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 he, he used to agree with me, but now he doesn't agree with me. Okay, yes, yes. What do you mean by it? Can you figure out? Let me give another example. You are my husband or a wife. By utility, that individual, that fake individual in me, which is a processor of simply a thought, creates the entire world as my utility. After all, you are my why well, you should not like do like this. You know, sometimes even my students say, no, sir, how dare you say that, sir? It happens everywhere, in all relationships. Are you getting it? What I'm saying, <laughs> not, not only husband and wife, you know, some students say, how dare you say that? Because you, you are not a seeker. You have yet to become a seeker. So now I have become extra careful every time when I receive those experiences. You see that? So name in the form, individual, and then utility. Mind sticks to the name in the form. Then what is the result? Attachment and detachment, emotional dependence, Sorrow and the suffering, I continue to live in delusion. 80 years old, what happened? I married 10 times and still, you know, I'm not able to figure out what is the problem. Either the problem is with me or with those girls. I earned a lot and I spent a lot and still I'm unhappy. Use that phrase. Think of this. That is what the illusion is. That is what the illusion is. Now it blows your mind. I, last time I picked up that, uh, that question, but now what is the problem? What I said, the real self is existence, consciousness and bliss. That is what we say, the real self. What is the superimposition, the name and the form? Now ask yourself, Wave of existence or existence of wave? Which one is true? Not a difficult question. Wave of existence. All these waves coming from existence. That is the meaning of waves of existence. An existence of wave, or you just make it simple, forget about existence. Waves of water or water of waves, which one is true? That will make it simple. If it is a water of waves, it means the water is constantly changing. But it is not true. Are you getting it? No? No, you think. No problem, even if you don't get it, you have to listen to it again and again. The water of waves. What is the cause of the wave? Water. 
effect is wave. Huh? Who is this Girish? Name in the form. This is an effect. What is the cause? Real self. What is your cause? Real self. You may say you are Stephen or Brandy or Anesthesia or Rousseau, but you are real self. Are you getting it? Existence is not the nature of an object. If existence is the nature of this guy, I will let me put it on myself, then this body will never die. We have a wrong perception. We live in delusion. Are you getting it? If I say the water of waves, the waves will never die. The wave, in fact, does not exist. It exists only because of water. And that is how we have a wrong perception at every moment in our life. And that wrong perception is the delusion. So as long as we live in delusion, we are going to suffer. Did you understand? The world of name and the form creates an individual that does not exist. Name in the form creates an individual. Who are you? I am Brandy. That I know, that's your name, but who are you? So we don't go deeper. When you don't go deeper, you live on the surface. What the heck you are saying? And I'm Brandy, I told you. I work there. I am related and long list. Then we forget this real self. And when we forget your real self, there is no end to the suffering. Then our ego feels. Oh, one more point I will cover that is very important. So first thing, the word of name in the form. I started with, do you remember what I, where I started? ECB and F. So ECB is the real NF is superficial, it is superimposed. Water, waves, huh? small wave. You know, small wave, big waves, a storm, tsunami. It is the same, but it, essentially it is a water. So I take non-essential as an essential. And when I take the non-essential as an essential, how by name and the form? So the word of name and the form creates an individual. Now you understand individual. If you look inside, it is a purely a thought. Even if it is not thought, let me know. Creates an individual that does not exist. And I see that it is real. So I have to suffer. Then only I have a crush at first sight. And then I have to be crushed. Now what happens now, see? A lot of uh, uh, things are involved in the mind. So now I have accepted I am an individual with a name in the form. But with this name in the form, do I find I am limited? Yes, I find limited with the name in the form. How come? I am present here in my house. I cannot be present there. Limited. Limited in time, limited in space, limited in resources. Yeah, limited in resources. So what happens? That individual on which the ego is built, our ego feels it is you know, it's very, very small, you know. My neighbor has a big car, I don't have it. You see, that you feel limited. Huh? You're more handsome than me, you're more beautiful than me. You see, at every level, once the ego is there, and this, my ego wants to be big. <coughs> my ego wants to be big. And then this ego, this individual, 
lives and works on the world of objects, people, events in the world. We try to make our ego so big, but that does not exist. So we are always frustrated. <laughs> Do you see that? Individual does not exist. When we make object, people think event is a permanent because that will make my individual ego very big. I like to be maintained all these things, but they are constantly changing. They cannot be maintained. So I live in delusion and suffering. And that is why I carry the burden of lot of stress and duality and a conflict in my day to day life. I understand it. And everything is happening in the mind. Body is the same in a body, our mental state. Huh? Mental state. The processor of a thought. Consciousness conditioned by ignorance is an individual. Consciousness conditioned by cause and effect of the name and the form. Is an individual and from the individual the attachment, emotional dependence and the delusion they start. We don't want to see what is lying inside. So we are essentially what? Existence, consciousness and bliss. That is the definition, understanding of the real self. Or you simply say pure consciousness. And name in the form. So it means that I have to remain aware and alert. Means what? I live my life consciously. Pasta is on the table. I hate pasta. You see, name in the form. Name in the form. You, you pick up anything. Give me any example. Name in the form. I like this. Pleasure. Seeking. So I want, it, I want to change the situation outside in order to be happy. But that is only a pleasure. That remains for a few minutes. As a wife or a husband, I'm expecting uh, that my spouse to say sorry. I want to change the situation. Name in the form. Can you dare to ask <laughs> sorry for me? You know, I will say sorry, no problem. I'm saying that. But when you are related, so that relationship is an individual. It's a situation, it's a condition created by the name and the form. You give me any, anything, where is your problem? It is created because of the delusion in the mind as an individual behind it. You did a blunder to me, you know, you see that, you know, you inserted me. So when you say sorry, then I will accept it. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting with a name in the form. See that? Name in the form. So as long as this mind is working in this name in the form, we cannot get rid of the suffering. It's not so serious a topic, but if you think it is so, then uh, it's okay. So let us start. <laughs> I say close. <laughs> then we'll discuss. If you have questions, you can ask the questions. I say closed, and the body is. I will continue because we are picking up these principles, and we'll change the practice. I'm slowly changing it. So eyes are closed, body is steady, mind is facing within, yes, mind is facing within. Now see what you 
your mind at this moment by this step says, I have understood clearly that the situation can change outside, but no situation can bring me permanent peace and happiness. Now, did you understand the meaning when I said steady body, eyes are closed and the mind is facing within? Look at those principles. What a beautiful way, you know, these masters explain clearly, rationally. So I have expanded it a little more, being comfortable looking at all the joints of the body. Looking at the joints of the body, being there, feeling sensation, comfort, and steadiness in the entire body. We, we did nothing, you know. So we didn't prompt the mind to change the situation. We said, just close your eyes, look at the joint, be there, feel. So we are giving a wisdom and a knowledge that the situation outside cannot help us. That is again the name and the form, or that is again, you can say the individual. Whatever you want to say, it doesn't matter. And uh, at the same time, you have an experience of sensation, comfort and steadiness. In that state, uh, the mind is bombarded by the thoughts from all the directions why it is it wants to change the situation you pick up any thought and see that for a while so we say no we are not ready i'm not going there that is why we say let the thought come let the thought go can you retain this wisdom all the time any thought that comes habitually impulsively instinctively you don't give any value to it. Oh, this teacher is crazy. This is also a thought. Don't give any value. This teacher is good. Even don't give the value to it. What happens to the mind? So you want to go beyond the situation created by the name and the form. Last time we added uh, the short and gentle breathing, we are going to add it. So this is only for the sake of purifying the mind. Even though we want to create another situation in the mind to help the mind to move within. That is the reason. So any active step in meditation is done to change the direction of the mind. That is all. So start breathing quick, short and gentle breathing through both the nostrils without moving the body, except the chest is moving, chest is expanding and contracting. Keep your focus inside the forehead and continue breathing. So our focus is there, where? Inside the forehead, where the mind is looking. Why we need a focus? We need a focus in order to maintain our awareness that the mind should not fall back into the name and the form, the illusion in the world. All are seekers. Just continue. Quick, short and gentle breathing. Is the mind thinking it is too much or it is too less? No, that is what the situation is. You see that? Less money, more money. Long list. No opposing tendency should be there in the mind. You are free to do. You are doing it in freedom.
Continue. And stop it. So understand clearly if you did this breathing or other any other active step. <clears throat> either to change the direction of the mind, to gain the focus, in order to move the mind within. Let us start with our Nyasa practice. And first check that your breath is deep, silent and slow. Second, the mind goes with the breath in the major parts of the body on the space inside that is the highway and the mind is, intellect is saying Om Shanti, pay a little more attention to the Om. Om is the real self and Shanti is also a manifestation of the real self. And when you see that Shanti without the name and the form, the mind gets absorbed. Let us start with the right arm. As you inhale, move the mind. From the right shoulder inside to the fingertips in the space, singing Om Shanti. And when you exhale, now see another part in this. So with that knowledge, uh, the nyasa can become a really a deeper practice. You see what we are talking without name in the form. Without name in the form. Is it one of the main principles? Yes. I should have a deep insight to see myself beyond the name and the form. Why? Ah, it creates a situation and a condition and a relationship and a delusion and the emotional bondage long list that we covered, we discussed last in the last sessions. So that is what you know. Shanti. That Om is pure consciousness and manifestation is the Shanti. The mind has to be educated again and again and again and again until you know the answer. Now the mind moves inside the left arm. You will discover you need not to worry about the physical condition. The body will continue to stay in that. The thoughts will not disturb you because mind has realized that these thoughts create a uh, wants to change the situation outside. Otherwise, I don't need any form of a thinking. So once that that awareness is there. You may have a crazy thoughts in the mind. It will not create any effect. Consciousness affected by, conditioned by thought is an individual. Now see that. You will see as a seeker you are absorbed. my role becomes very less and less what it means. The mind is learning to find the inner teacher.
Her near inside the right leg. And I know. We are doing for two and a half minutes each limb. You can even do it for longer period. Try this out this week. You just, you just pick up the nyas with that understanding of real self, superimposed by the name and the form. With that understanding, with that awareness, and you will see. You will see that even if you open your eyes, your mind is totally absorbed into Is that so? Just you, you have to try. And now inside the left leg, that Om Shanti continues. And now inside the spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone and from the tailbone to the crown of the head the intellect continues to sing inside the mind moves inside the spine with a deep silent slow breath everything is in the right place 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. Only one Shanti or three Shanti doesn't matter. Well, the Nyasa continues. Now leave this deep silence, slow breath. Bring your awareness or the mind inside the heart triangle. You know the equilateral triangle pointing upward. Move the mind. It's okay even if you have coughing. Return again into the same awareness. It's okay. And looking inside the heart, moving the mind clockwise or anti-clockwise on a triangle with awareness of knowledge. Real desire and action. And then as you know, we move the mind in, at the, from the center of the triangle inside the heart. Om Shanti. And after Shanti, you know the mind doesn't want to return to any thought, even if the thought is there. So it means thought is there, you know the thought is there, but mind is not there. Mind is the knower. It is not the doer, enjoyer, fighter, reactor. Did you understand what I'm saying? And once any thought and then other ways, when any thought comes, you move again to the triangle, move the mind on a triangle, then pick up the center of a triangle, move inside, and then we'll go a little deeper. Today I'll explain it so that you will pick up easily. So your reference point is the triangle. Anytime you, the mind is distracted, the reference is the triangle. By the Patanjali, the great master, he says this is one-pointedness. What is one-pointedness? Whenever your mind goes anywhere, you return to the reference point. It is not an effort. It is not a fight and a reaction. It is not uh, what we, you know, modern psychology says, oscillation of attention and concentration. So literally translated concentration, it's okay. Did you understand that? It's very important to pick up. 
right. Continue, you have understood about the triangle. Why we do it to remove the delusion in the mind inside. The root cause of the delusion is that the knower and the known, the seer and the seen appears as one. In the mind, my name in the form that is known to me is reflected in the mind as me. But I am the knower of it. Knower is separate. Seer is always separate. So we reach to one of the deepest understanding. Now you understand, that's why I gave this uh, step of triangle, to separate. So inside, this known and the known mess up, they mix up. And outside, can you recall, the name and the form mix up. That leads to illusion. And what is delusion? Known and the known. It is because of the delusion inside, I believe you all picked up. We find a common point. How? Sarvesham Swastirvavatu now you can drop the triangle. Now, fine. It is because of the knower in the known. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Well-being is one. People are billions. What is known? They are in billions. Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Let there be peace for all Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu The peace is one Nor Name in the form are Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu May there be completeness in all. Completeness in all? Yes. You see that? If the delusion inside is not removed, once we start living in the world, we will live in the illusion. But it is the same thing. If the illusion is not removed, it will create a delusion. Well, you said, here I am. So my mind goes inside with that knowledge. It says, here I am, with the name in the form. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Let there be auspiciousness for all. Next moment, if that individual is absent, the next moment in time and space and in the world, 
goes with happiness and the knowledge. You feel that it cannot be separated. You are there. I'm repeating for the sake of your understanding, the knower and the known inside, they mix up. That is delusion. What is illusion? Created by the name and the form and the word outside. And both together is known as Maya. We covered in the last two sessions, Maya, measurement in time, space and object. The mind can be free from all of them here and now without doing anything. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Know your experiences, bring the hands down. How are you, Stephen? I'm good. Um extremely extremely quiet um all all i recall is closing my eyes listening to you and now we're here yeah, so that's good there is nothing in between nothing in between yes yeah. this is what happens when there is an absence of delusion and illusion the mind remains free it has not to work with the name in the form it has not to work with the known and the knower, they are not mixed up. Engineer sahab, gadi dur hai. Gurudev, my Guruji used to say it, dragya, drashta and drashya. Yad aya? How are you, David and Jerry? <laughs> uh, very good. Um, I enjoyed that a lot. It was, to Stephen's point, it was just like simple, uh, no attachment to thoughts, um, observation of thoughts, observation. The triangle was interesting because when we, um, after we were finished the triangle with the heart, I had triangle impressions uh, that started to fade away, kind of like a screen or something like that. But no, it was very deep and very silent and quick. Beautiful. That's a success. How are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good. It's nice to be back. Um, it was good. It was initially it was very illuminating and bright. And then when we went to the triangle, it became dark. dark. And then with some scattered though lightness. 
like this. Yes, yes, yeah. That is the job. That is the purpose of this triangle. As David is saying, that uh, the impression remains. So, what will happen? The mind will keep that impression of knowledge, real self desire, real self action towards the real self. So that mind will separate from the knower and the known inside and hmm, the name in the form outside. So that is an absence of delusion. So very good. So are you Brandy? I'm good as well, thank you. I was thinking about at the beginning of the meditation, um, it's like when you read a really good book, how you become involved with the characters and in your mind you create this name in the form, but they're just characters in the book, right? You finish the book and you close it and they're still there, but they're not there. It's not real, right? Um, it's a good point. It's a very good point. We still remember what we remember, Romeo and Juliet. Huh? We give reference of that. It's all the name and the form. The word is of the name and the form. Bill Gates, riches, name in the form. Fact is that we are the richest because we know the real self. <laughs> it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful revelation. It's, it's a how, that is what I notice. How are you, Kate? <sighs> Good morning, everybody. Namaste. Wonderful to be here. Thank you for the lesson. Um, I too felt very settled and quiet. Settled and quiet. Very good. Very good. Yeah, settled and quiet. You know, you see that when there is a, that, 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 uh, the pressure of the illusion and the delusion dissolves or becomes very thin, we find a sense of freedom. Quiet, simple quiet. That is what, you know, ah, you all referred so we'll go to anesthesia yes not anesthesia but anesthesia yeah <laughs> namaste <laughs> i i was very deep and absorbed uh something like there are some sorts or there are not or there is my body or there is not i didn't understand and i didn't want to in the space. Good. That's, that's a beautiful, so very deep. You see that? So, one thing more that we see the problems, the emotional problems and the mental problems are caused by these two factors. Remember, ECB is real, NF. NF relates inside becomes the delusion that results because that is the result of attachment detachment emotional bondage and outside it is of the name and the form beautiful how are you Bo? then we'll go to good morning hello how am i my triangle was on its side with the point going this way today um i did find there was a little bit of uh I yeah. had to really settle in before I even got to where I was going. So it was a little challenging today just because it took longer. Do I hear you? Yes, you did. Something. Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the triangle went sideways today. I had a little trouble today settling in it's and at one point i saw on this side like a lot of white light and i actually realized my head jerked to the side at some point then when the triangle came sideways so that's the way it is today it's okay that is all <laughs> the nature of the mind the mind changes its state it reflects on something from the world outside or deep impression inside and that is how it changes the shape, size, color, position of the triangle. So we are using the triangle as a means to reach. 
not the other way. If we think other way, we are in delusion. That is what I have been talking about. Mm -hmm. ah, very good. How are you, Ashok? I'm good, sir. Good, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good. How are you, Vaibhav? Sir, I'm good. Uh, <clears throat> it's very peaceful. And uh, with the reference thing that you have said with the triangle, that uh, whenever uh, like I get distracted, so we can come back to a triangle and start again. Yes. So with with that, it was like I can anything which is coming in my mind, I can drop it and then come back to a triangle. So it was very helpful in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another right approach because any time the mind goes to any thought or feeling or images, casually bring the mind to a triangle. So triangle becomes a reference point. I think I spoke about something from the Patanjali. So when Kate, when Patanjali says one-pointedness, we try to understand from the modern psychological point of view, modern psychology, no, not at all. In modern psychology, we say it is an oscillation of attention, oscillation of attention, and, and then we say attention is concentration. So in that attention, we try to drive away all the thoughts except the one on which we are concentrating. So here, this triangle is only a reference point. What is the reference point? The mind forgets. And I remember, I return again on the triangle. Then I go deep inside. I leave the triangle also. That is very important. Ah, otherwise the delusion will return again in a different way. So that is all for today. We will meet again. Thank you very much. And Thank you. 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 Namaste. Namaste. Namaste Prabhu Ji. Namaste. Okay, Kaji. Kuch karoge to hoga.